Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing yet another pregnancy update. Maybe my last, maybe not. I don't know. But before we get into the update, I just want to really quickly say Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a great Christmas, a good holiday. It was kind of a weird, hectic day. Things are a lot different this year with COVID, but um, regardless, we got to see a lot of family today. The only one I didn't get to see was my dad, and I'll see him tomorrow. He's gonna stop by in the morning. Also, I realize I'm wearing the same exact shirt that I was wearing in my last video, <laughs> but I don't have many maternity shirts and I'm wearing leggings today and this is one of like the longer ones that covers my butt. That's why I'm wearing it. It was also really, really cold today and this is kind of like a sweater. But anyway, I'm getting this video up kind of late. I am 37 weeks and five, four days, technically five now because it is the 26th. It's just like 12.05 in the morning. Not gonna lie, this week has been really busy. I had Monday off, which is the day I wanted to record this video, but for whatever reason, I didn't have time that day, like at all. I don't remember what I did, because that was quite a few days ago, but I know that I didn't have time to do this. And then I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The time that I had after work, I spent doing other things that I needed to do, including wrapping, because I didn't have my gifts wrapped completely. And I actually finished wrapping them on New, or New Year's, on Christmas Eve. So this is real life. This is why I'm recording this late at night, because I know I'm not gonna really have time tomorrow either. But anyway, we're gonna be going over weeks 35 and 36. For week 35, it started to hurt to turn over in my sleep. Um, I don't really know what to go into detail other than that, but like it hurts my stomach to flip over in my sleep. And I'm pretty sure in week 34, I mentioned that the quality of my sleep really went downhill. Well, that's part of the problem because I'll wake up hurting, whether it's like my hip or my shoulder or my ribs now because that's a thing. I have to wake up to actually turn over or I'm like somewhat awake when I turn over and it hurts to turn over sometimes. I also started to get really anxious about how much time is left because I am now full term and I could go into labor at any point at this time. Who knows if I will or not. Uh, with Riley I went into labor 36 week, 38 weeks and 6 days. My water broke in the middle of the night and I had her 20 some hours later <laughs> before the next day had arrived. So yeah, I'm, I don't have a lot of time left and there's still quite a few things that I need to get done. It's not really a lot, but it feels like a lot. My heartburn started to get really bad. I had to start taking the prescription that I was given twice a day. You can take it once a day or you can take it twice a day. And I started to take it twice a day because it just got really bad. Okay, and that's literally it for 35 weeks. So for 36 weeks, heartburn was bad. I also had back pain and cramping. This is something that like really comes and goes. It's not a constant thing that stays there, which is a good thing because if it were, then that would probably be an indication of going into early labor, but it never stays. I just get random pains all the time. I got, an, I got another cold or allergies. I thought it was allergies. I don't think so. It started with me sneezing a lot. And then that night I was like congested, stuffy my nose was running and then the days that followed i just felt really miserable and i started a cough again i had a cold a couple weeks ago it was a little bit different than this one i don't know why this is happening but even now like it's a lot better now there were a couple days where i like couldn't even talk for a long period of time or my throat would get really irritated 
and I didn't even, I didn't have a sore throat this time either. It was just like, I had a dry cough, and if I talked too much, I would have to cough. So, even now, I'll wake up in the morning kind of mucusy, and I have a little bit of a cough, and it takes a little while for it to, like, calm down. But, like, right now I sound fine. So this is a really weird one. My lady parts were, like, extra tender more so than usual and I hadn't even done anything <laughs> like I didn't do anything to it at all whatsoever and it was just sensitive very weird and then the last thing I have listed for weeks 36 is that every night when I'm laying on like let's say if I'm laying on my left side if I'm laying at a certain angle there is pain in my ribs or like I can feel part of him sitting on them and I have to like adjust or completely turn over to the other side because the same thing is still happening like if I'm on one side too long my hip will start to hurt and I have to switch over anyway it's like just all his weight is on one side and it's a whole process to turn over <laughs> but now there are there's rib pain added to it and it's very weird it's very uncomfortable and I have to like I can't be completely on my side I have to be like kind of on an angle on my back if that makes sense but not fully on my back I'm like I can't even do anything without showing you like literally in bed but I do whatever I can to avoid the feeling it's just so bizarre <laughs> but anyway with that being said that's everything for the update as far as symptoms go the last thing I'm going to do that I promised you guys I was going to do this time is show you my belly right now. Keep in mind it's like close to 38 week sizing at this point. Uh, when I went to my doctor appointment they said it was measuring 38 weeks. I'll get into that in another video. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to have another update or not. I don't have anything listed right now for the week that I'm currently in, which is 37 because everything that I've already told you is just continuing. There's nothing new to report other than at 36 weeks, they swabbed me for the B strep thing and that came back positive. And my doctor just told me that at my appointment this week. So there's that. I don't entirely understand what the B strep is, but I know that if it's not treated, it can be harmful to the baby. So basically what they're gonna do is give me an antibiotic through my IV when I'm in labor and that's supposed to help um, and it's not supposed to be serious or concerning so there's that but yeah I'm gonna show you guys my belly so from the front you can't really I mean you can tell that there's like a belly but there, I'm not growing wider it's just all on the front <laughs> But I am wearing maternity leggings, so this is my belly. Um, yes, my belly button is sticking out, <laughs> and I am getting a lot of stretch marks in this general area. I think some of them are from Riley before, and they're red again because it's creating new ones. But uh. My belly is very itchy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And I am gonna head to bed now. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!